Hello, welcome back to the Brother Blog, and uh, today we're going to look at our 2011-2012 BCS Bowl Game Predictions So uh, for the 2012 season. So let's kick things off with the Rose Bowl. You go ahead. Well, uh, my Rose Bowl, I got the Big Ten champs going to Wisconsin. I think that uh, they do lose a game to Michigan State because it's, I believe it's at Michigan State. Not 100% sure on that, but uh, either way, I think they lose to Michigan State. That's their loss for a season. They don't get in the national title, but I think that Russell Wilson comes in, and he makes a good fit in a pro-style offense, and uh, so Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl, and I think they play a non-AQ rematch of last year. TCU finds themselves in the Rose Bowl mix. I think that they beat Boise State. Uh, I want to, yeah, that game is at Boise State, but uh I still like TCU. I think that their defense is very good. I mean, just Gary Patterson and overall is a great coach. He always finds a way to build up his defense, and his running game is going to be very solid here. All right, I uh, I may disagree with the Rose Bowl. I see Michigan State winning the Big Ten this year. I am a, uh, a Michigan State fan, so I'm not sure how credible that pick is. But I think that they're going to win it this year. I think Kirk Cousins returns. He's the best QB in the Big Ten. I think they have a solid running game with Edwin Baker, Le'Veon Bell, and Larry Caper, and um, a good receiving core as well. So I see MSU taking on Boise State. I think Boise State will beat TCU. I think that um, TCU loses Andy Dalton, which was, you know, hands down the most um, critical part of their uh, their team. But they do return a good defense. So. The Boise State TCU game will definitely, uh, I think, determine which one of those non AQ teams heads to the BCS. So sure. in that game, I'm going to take Michigan State to beat Boise State and win the Rose Bowl. All right, uh, moving on to the Fiesta Bowl, I'll start. I have uh, Oklahoma State sort of as my shocker team for this season. I think they win the Big 12. Uh, I see them heading into the Bedlam game, last game of the season, with one loss. And they knock off an undefeated Oklahoma team. And uh, in the Fiesta Bowl, I see Oklahoma State playing Oregon, who will be the runner-up in the Pac-12, or runner-up in the good division in the Pac-12. And uh, in that game, I see Oregon in a very high-scoring, great game to watch because on both sides of the ball, you got high offense. Oregon has Darren Thomas and Michael James. Not sure if they have the receiving core back, but uh, Oklahoma State also would have a great offense. Brandon Whedon, Justin Blackman, it would be a very great game to watch. Oregon, though, in the end. Okay. Uh, in my Fiesta Bowl, I also see Oregon uh, playing in the Fiesta Bowl, uh, but um, I put them up against Arkansas. I think Arkansas is a team that um, really surprised me last year in the Sugar Bowl against Ohio State. Um, they showed that they actually had a great defense, too. I mean, even though they gave up 31 points, the defense played well. Ryan Mallett had a he choked, bad game. Bad he choked game. up at the end there. Yeah, he had a bad game. But uh, I think that they got a good quarterback coming back. They got a good receiving core, and their defense really surprised me. And I think Arkansas is a team that's going to make some noise this year. And uh, I see Arkansas beating Oregon, too, and Arkansas winning the Fiesta Bowl next year. Arkansas definitely could make some noise. They got that... Uh, don't know his name, but he played great against Auburn after Mel went out. So, you never know. Moving on to the Orange Bowl, I have Florida State winning the ACC and the ACC team, as long as they don't go to the national title. It's the automatic bid in the Orange Bowl. And I see Florida State playing LSU, who would be the runner-up in the SEC. And uh, I can't remember the last time when there were there was not two SEC teams in the BCS. And that's the only, that my only reason for putting LSU in this game. I think that LSU would be a great team this season just because, I mean, they returned their defense, or not their whole defense. They obviously lost Patrick Peterson, but they have Jordan Jefferson coming back and just LSU overall is a defensive-minded team. And I think that defensive-minded teams this season are going to lead the NCAA because uh, just there's not as much talent as there usually is, I guess there is to say. You go back to the previous years, there's always tons of Heisman contenders. But uh end of the day, I have Florida State winning that game by a nose. I think that Florida State's going to be a team to watch out for this year. They had that quarterback. What's his name? Can't, can't It's on tip of my tongue. But uh he backed up Christian Ponder last season, and I believe was the ACC title game he played in. And uh, he did all right. And uh, I think he's got a promising future ahead of him. 
So I like Florida State this season. I like LSU this season. And uh, in the end, I have Florida State winning this game by nose. I uh, I put Florida State in my Orange Bowl as well, but I see them playing West Virginia. I think that um, West Virginia wins the Big East, Florida State, the ACC. Um, Florida State shocked me last year when they beat South Carolina in the bowl game, so that showed me that uh, they were a lot better team than I thought they were. And they've been close to making the jump up into uh, becoming a great team, but uh, they just haven't been able to do it. I think they take a big step next year, and... Uh, they get into the Orange Bowl. I think that they have a promising offense and defense. They bring in the best recruiting class for uh, 2011, so they look to get some, uh, you know, some con- contribution from their freshmen. And then, meanwhile, West Virginia, um, Geno Smith. Yep. And uh, they got a Heisman contender at quarterback, and uh, they're always, you know, a good team. And um, they don't have much competition in the Big East except for. Uh, Cincinnati, really, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, Connecticut losing their coach, I think uh, they become a non-factor now. So I put Florida State and West Virginia, and I think Florida State will beat them up. You know, the Big East really isn't what it used to be anymore. So uh, Florida State wins the Orange Bowl for me. All right, uh, moving on to the Sugar Bowl. I have my Big East winner, not West Virginia. I have Cincinnati winning the Big East just because if you go back a few years ago, Zach Kolaris backed up. I can't remember his name again. But uh, I remember Cincinnati used to have a very good quarterback. Zach Lars backed him up. And uh, I was a big supporter of Zach Lars. I think he's a great quarterback. I think he can do some good things for Cincinnati this season. They also have a good running core, best running back core in the Big East, arguably. And uh, I see them playing Oklahoma, who would have one loss, Big 12 team, got him a BCS bid, you know. And uh, Oklahoma is a great team. I, I mean, they got Roy Finch. Back at running back, they got that new freshman guy we were just looking at. I can't remember his name again. Uh, they got Landry Jones, and they always seem to come up with a defense. So I do see Oklahoma winning this game, obviously, just because, uh, you know, they're the better team. I see Cincinnati sticking with them for a little bit, but in the end, I think Oklahoma pulls away by 10 or so. Uh, all right, for my Sugar Bowl, I um, I see LSU, LSU being in the uh, – the uh, Sugar Bowl, um, you know, an SEC team. So that's those are my two SEC teams. Neither one's going to go to the big national title, which is uh, iffy, but that's what I think is going to happen for first time in a while. But um, LSU plays Ohio State, who, despite their uh, their off season stumbles and uh, their allegations, lag, yeah, the uh, the whole distractions off the field and everything. Terrell Pryor gone. They. Uh, Bring in the freshman quarterback. I think his his name's like Braxton Miller. Braxton, Braxton Miller. Miller, yeah, who's probably gonna take over the starting job. Um, I think that Ohio State's just always a great team, and until a team proves that they're you know gonna beat Ohio State, Ohio State gets a share or a full out victory in the Big Ten title every year. I think they do it again next year, and they play LSU in the Sugar Bowl, and I'm gonna take LSU to beat Ohio State in that game. Uh, so. Um, that's I see LSU winning the Sugar Bowl next season. Good pick. I can't see Ohio State winning the BCS Bowl after all this new coach, new quarterback. Just can't see him winning the BCS Bowl. Yeah. But they could get in. It's a good pick. Uh, moving on to the last one, the Big Natty title. And uh, I got my Pac-12 champs. Pac-12 is going to be a big conference this season. Stanford, I think, is going to have a good season. Obviously, they have Andrew Luck. I think they're going to have a solid defense. And really their only tough game that you have to highlight this season is Oregon. And when you look at that, Oregon, they play them later in the season versus last season when they played them at the beginning of the year. And, I mean, when a team has time to look at a team, their opponent, you know, they can game plan, they can think of how they're going to stop this team. And I think Stanford finds a way to slow down Oregon's offensive attack enough to the point where Andrew Luck can put up enough points to beat Oregon. And uh, I see Stanford playing the SEC champs, Alabama, who I see having one loss, just an SEC play. And, uh, I mean, this would be a great matchup. I mean, one side of the ball, you got Andrew Luck, solid defense. Other side of the ball, you got, uh, what's his name? A.J. McCarron, who's coming in. And uh, I think he should have a good season, even though he didn't look so hot in that final drive against Auburn going over 4 and costing them the game. I, I think he'll have a good season, you know. I think Nick Saban can coach him up. 
And uh, then they got Trent Richardson. I think Nick Saban can coach up a good defense. I don't think it's going to be enough to beat Stanford, though. I have Stanford winning the national title. Um, I, too, see Stanford in the national title. I think they play Oklahoma. Oklahoma's in our team, Stanford and Oklahoma. They both benefit from very easy schedules. Um, Oklahoma will have to play Florida State early on in the season. That I think it's in week two, so that's a game to circle because um, winner of that game definitely will boost into the uh, the national stage. But uh, I think Oklahoma wins that game. I think they got Landry Jones back. They have Finch at running back, who's a great player, young star. Um, they bring in another good recruiting class, as always, and they take on a Stanford team that was, in my opinion, the best team in college football last year. You know, obviously they didn't win the national title, but I think they were the best team. They uh, they had Oregon on the ropes and then uh, just sort of lost it and and uh, blew the lead. But, um, you know, I think Stanford, uh, they blew out Virginia Tech in the bowl game. I think they return Andrew Luck. They return their players. And I think they lose their coach, but um, I think they're going to be okay with it. I think that... Uh, They'll be able to uh, make the run anyway. I think Stanford will also win the national title um, next season. So there you have it, Stanford being your national champions for uh, next year for both of us. So uh, comment, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who disagree. You know, it's preseason predictions here, so don't be too ruthless. But uh, Okay, thanks. Check out our page, and uh, thanks for watching.